Good morning, everyone. We are setting up for a tech rehearsal. We're gonna maybe do the show in the dining room area this time. We don't know. We, we, that's what tech's for, we to figure it out. I'm tired, I was up late last night editing tracks and stuff for the show. And here we are, about to do a little sound check. It's not a Colleen vlog unless you start it with good morning. Good, good morning. morning. I don't know how the top that. You just did a time step. You do know how to time dance. All right, we're <laughs> sorry to do it right. Good morning. Good morning. There. Okay. I need coffee. I think I'm gonna make a whipped coffee or something. I'm feeling very early quarantine, I guess. All right, I gotta say this. Goodbye. I'm trying to make this thing work. It's very confusing. I forgot how much work this is. <laughs> I only did the Christmas concert a month ago, and I'm like, oh my god, this is a lot of work. <laughs> I already forgot. That happens to me a lot. I'll have so much fun doing something. Like I had so much fun doing the Christmas concert that I forgot how much work it was to do it. And so now I'm doing it, I'm like, this is a lot of work. I'm like, oh yeah, it was a lot of work, but I just forgot about it because the fun was so fun that it made me forget about the work. There's a lot of things I'm trying to figure out right now. Alrighty, I have done a million things. I've been doing very good on my to-do list today, guys. I'm very proud of myself. My mom is on a walk with Flynn and my lips are looking crusty. So I'm going to do my advent for today so I have something to put on my lips. I can't believe it's almost done. Ooh, she's dark. It's a dark lip today. It's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. And I'm gonna go make some props for the New Year's Eve show. Good poopy. Good poopy. What, what do you want to do? <laughs> um, advent. Advent. Good boy. I already did my lip one. Okay, you ready? Advent. Lip okay, here's today's 23. It's this one. What's it up for? <gasps> That's a good one. A roller, yeah. Whoa, that's cool. This is a very exciting one. Grandpa didn't just find one from your toy box and put it in here. Yeah, open it up. <gasps> what is it? Cement truck. Wow, say thank you. Say thank you. More? That, oh, we can do mamas. Wait, you want to do the craft one of mamas? Craft mama? Yeah. How did you? How did you? How did you? Helicopter, yeah. Okay, Flynn, it's this one. What is it? Oh. It's a butterfly. Butterfly. It's a butterfly. It's a little wood butterfly that I'll probably never be able to get out of there. Okay, and now advent calendar of kindness. Flynn, who's that? Who's that? Santa. It's Santa. Do you want to open it? Thank you. It's time to pay it forward. Pick one of the kindness missions you've completed this month and challenge your friends on social media to do it too before the year is over. I feel like this is gonna be a great calendar next year when I can do any of the kindness missions. All the missions are like to do something with strangers or in public. So this will be great next year. This year, it's been nice to read the stories. Helicopter! That's done. What are you doing, Flynn? Oh, hey, what's your little Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Flynn, no, no, no! Ah! A bowl of puff balls. <laughs> oh no. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, help me. Help me. You 
as always some of the coolest stuff to our PO box and we just got the coolest box from Holly and she says she has a small business making kids party supplies and activities and here's a busy box for Flynn, a few things um, for his garbage truck party. So I'm a little late to opening up my PO box clearly. I want to thank you for being such a great distraction during this time. I've watched your vlogs all throughout quarantine as a mom of two boys. I love watching you and Flynn. And so anyway, it's like she put all these activities in this box with like instructions on how to do these different Christmas crafts. This is this box and Includes activities that are focused on fine motor skills, gross motor skills, independent play, and holiday celebration. And it's all these fun little like crafts and things with instructions with each craft that she put together. And paint, and a paintbrush, and this little apron that says flannel on it with a garbage truck. Are you kidding? This is so cool. I'm so excited. There's so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to start. There's so many things to choose from, but I think we're gonna try this one first. It's a little ornament. Okay, Flynn, are you ready? Ready. You ready for presents? It's nice to do. It does look like it, huh? It looks like sprinkles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. It's not doo-doo, it's just pretty. So then you put it inside of the hole. Can you put it inside of the hole? Well, this isn't a truck, so. Okay, well, if you want something with a truck, we'll get you something with a truck, all right? So another thing we got, oh, is a garbage truck that you paint, right? Which one do you want? Blue, green, red? Which one? Red. You want yellow? Okay, ready? Let's open it up. Yeah, open it up. Okay, open it up. Dip it in. There you go. Now paint the truck. Whoa, cool! Beautiful. You want blue? Okay. Okay. Whoa, that looks cool. And you're here. Whoa, pretty. Ooh, how about you get a little bit more? Get the window right there. Get the window right. Ooh, beautiful. Very nice. Ooh, that looks. Great, Flynn. Where'd the tire go? Oh, you got it. Oh, you gotta get that spot. Grab that spot. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Bloop. Whoa. Good job. Green. Green, yeah. More blue. More blue. That was so good, Flynn. Good circles. Four. Okay. More kitchen. More circles. Good job. I'm very excited to peel that off when this dries. Or can I do it? I can't do it now, right? After we till it dries. Yeah, you'll risk like some Okay, I'll wait till it dries. All right, gotta go play with a digger truck, I think. Oh, I also need to take off his shirt because it's covered in paint. I finished this bulb without Flynn's help. Cute. It was very hard to get that little confetti in there, but I did it. It's a craft for toddlers, and I'm proud of myself that I did it, so. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna eat at the table like human beings. Not something that we do very often in this house. But I made chicken parmesan. I make it all the time, but it's I like it because it's fast and easy, and you can make it with this like <coughs> lemony, zesty arugula salad on top with parmesan cheese. Yes. Or you can make it, like after you make the chicken parmesan, you can throw it in the oven with some um, mozzarella and tomato sauce, and it's like a chicken parm. It's amazing. So Trent and my dad are having the chicken parm, me and mom and Eric are having like salady one. And I made Rachel a vegan chicken parm, and it looks disgusting. I don't understand vegan cheese. I love the vegan lifestyle, I wish I could do it. Maybe someday I will, but vegan cheese confuses me because it doesn't melt. Like I, I, I tried to make it look like a chicken parm and it just looks like plastic unmelted cheese. So I don't know how to, it's probably gonna taste like butt, but I tried. How's the broccoli, mom? Good. The you farm. did it. This is so good. You had it already? Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet. The little trees. The little trees, yeah, Flynn calls broccoli little trees. Rachel! What? How was the chicken parmesan? It was delicious, I ate the whole thing! Did you really? Yeah, and then I washed my plate. Was I not supposed to? I just feel like that's strange, because it looked disgusting. It was delicious. See, with vegan food, don't look at it. Just close your eyes, don't oh, okay. look at okay, it. Okay. I tried my hardest. <laughs> I have a problem, because I'm done vlogging, but my hands are full. Rich, can you uh, turn this off? <laughs> Every year, Rachel and I do an awkward Christmas song. We've done it for like, I feel like 13 or 14 years. Our first 
So really? Years ago. Not oh my gosh, yeah. So we've been doing this every year. We do an awkward Christmas song music video. It's on her channel, so we're filming it right now. We're actually doing it ahead of schedule. I feel like we lately have been doing it always on Christmas Eve. Oh, you're right. And it's, it's going the day up before on? Christmas oh, Eve. So oh, we're ahead of schedule. Oh my goodness, guys. Hello. So I just realized it's gonna be New Year's, or New Year's Eve, oh my God. Uh, Christmas Eve for you when I upload this, which is so exciting. Um, so happy Christmas Eve, and it's almost Christmas Eve for me. It's almost midnight, but I was just going through my Miranda artwork from you guys, fan art, because I keep every piece of artwork, every letter that's ever sent to me. So I use some of the fan art in my Christmas show. I put it on like the Christmas trees behind me. And so I'm gonna use fan art again for some projects because I literally have so much incredible artwork from you guys in my house. Like obviously you've seen the Miranda art wall, but it's like in boxes and I'm like, I want to use this stuff so people can see it. So I used it for something for the New Year's Eve show, but I've also used it for this other project I'm working on for the new year. So I was going through artwork and some of it is just so amazing. I just want to share with you guys some of my favorite, like, okay, hold on. Look at this. That's pencil. Like, are you kidding? This one made me laugh a lot. So I don't know why, they just like, they're all so different. They all have such character. I've always loved the very was going on my fingers in this one. <laughs> They make me laugh. But then there's like cool, like unique ones like this, like that really blow my mind. I mean, I don't know. I just love them so much. I think they're all so amazing. <laughs> they're all so different and weird and like how cool that I have all these. And like, I don't know. So I was going through all that and it was making me really happy. But I'm trying to learn a song on the ukulele and it is so hard for multiple reasons. One, the chords, are, I'm not a good ukulele player and they're, hard for me to learn, like my fingers kind of don't go the way they're supposed to for these chords. But also, I've always had dermatillomania, I've always like picked up my skin, but it's never been as bad as it has been in 2020. And trying to play the ukulele when you're like missing skin on your fingers is awful. But I thought I would try to play it for you guys anyway. I think I might do this song in the New Year's Eve show, but as a duet with someone special. This is gonna be a hot mess. I have band-aids all over my freaking fingers, so they get caught on the strings, and it also is extremely painful, but you know what? It's keeping me from ripping out my skin, so actually this is pretty good. Once I get it, I have to learn it better and all that, but I think it's gonna be a really cute duet if I can make it happen. So I really wanna do it. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, I hope you're having a happy holiday season, whatever you're doing. I hope you're staying safe and um, I hope you're surrounded with love and happiness and family and health. And I'm sending you hugs this holiday season. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.